This is the Lepmis PlayStation 3 Switch Access Pod. Using this device a disabled person can access all 17 switch functions and both analog joystick functions of the PlayStation 3 handset. The electrical connections to the Sony circuit board are achieved using impedance matching techniques and are optically isolated from the rest of the switch access pod electronics and the client side circuits. The switch access pod does not contain an internal battery and so needs to be plugged into the USB port of the PS3 console. This is exactly the same procedure as would be used to charge a normal handset and for initial handset configuration. In order to use the D-pad functions, just plug a switch into the relevant socket and away you go. It is the same for the shape buttons, the shoulder switches and all of the other switch functions found on the normal PS3 handset. For added convenience to the person setting up the game, the system buttons have been implemented as discrete switches. Start and select are on the back of the unit. The PS button is placed prominently on the top of the unit. All of the switch inputs have a common ground reference and this allows daisy chaining of multiple switch operations from the one switch by using an inexpensive stereo adapter. Let's make Lara jump and turn on her light at the same time. Using this technique you can achieve multiple button presses from just one switch. Not being able to hold the handset is no longer a barrier to being able to play. For group activities, a number of people can be playing their part all on the same game. The analog joystick ports use a buffered potentiometric configuration so that any potentiometer can be applied across the three terminals of the port with the no movement point being mid rail at 2.5 volts. The analog joystick port also provides a regulated 5 volt supply for powering additional external circuits. For example, a commercial industrial joystick from a wheelchair controller can be connected almost directly. This configuration allows the use of ordinary switches directly across the connections of the analog joystick port. The electrical design of the port prevents any damage to itself in the event of a short circuit between high and low reference outputs. In this way, switch users can now access games which demanded the use of the analog joystick. For instance, the throttle of a car racing game can be set to a slow speed using a slide pot and the steering can be achieved using one switch to steer left and one switch to steer right. What does it feel like being able to play games again? Fantastic.